Hey y'all, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with y'all my current favorites since I cannot remember the last time I did an actual favorites video. Whoops. But let's be honest with everything still going on in the world. I've been not really trying out new skincare, new makeup, so it just hasn't really been like a need to do a favorites video. However, after probably about three months of not doing favorite videos, I have finally compiled enough favorites to share with y'all. And they're actually like some really good products I've been using for a while now or loving for a while now. So I have skincare, makeup, fashion, random other things and I think it'll be good. So let's first start with some makeup favorites and let's be real, all here, my makeup style has been super minimal. Like, I mean, we're wearing masks, so like, you're only seeing this part of me. And at that point, I don't really wanna do anything. And honestly, the only thing I've been consistently wearing is mascara. And I have a new mascara combo that I have been loving. And it's the combination of the new Air Volume Mascara from L'Oreal and then this Ilia Mascara that I got in my FabFitFun box. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes right now. And honestly, it's a match made in heaven. So first I go in with the L'Oreal, which I like on its own. And it is just a volumizing mascara mascara adds a lot a lot of volume not a ton of length though and it can get a little bit clumpy if you go a little too heavy-handed but that's where the Ilia one comes in and this one is good for lengthening and separating the wand itself has two different bristles it has one side that's more like a comb and then another side that's more like a traditional rubber bristle brush and just separates all the clumps at some length and it just gives you really pretty long but full lashes all at the same time. So these have been a really, really, really good combo and I have been loving my lashes with it. And then as far as complexion goes, I have been obsessed with cream products just all over. Honestly, I can't even remember the last time I wore a powder blush or like a powder highlight. It's been months. So first, I've been loving this from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their contour wand and I have the shade Fair Medium. And I'll be honest, when I first got this, many many moons ago. I didn't really use it because I thought it was kind of intimidating because a cream bronzer like there's a little bit more room for air there you would think but honestly it is so so easy. I just put some on the temples and then I put some kind of like a little C shape around my cheek bone area. I don't really have cheekbones but like you know we can pretend and then I blend it out with a brush or a sponge done done and done. You can use this over foundation, tinted moisturizer or what I do half the time, uh, nothing at all. Just straight on skin, just to blend it out. Makes you look like you have a little bit of color, but it looks like your skin, not like makeup. So this has been really, really nice. And then for blush, I've been loving the Tower 28 Cream Blush in the shade Magic Hour. It's what I'm wearing right now. And y'all, when I say this, I mean it wholeheartedly. This is the best, 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 best cream blush I have ever used. And I've been using cream blush four years and this one by far is my favorite. It has the perfect consistency where it's creamy but it's not too watery and it's pigmented enough but it's not like hard to work with and it sits on the skin beautifully and the color stays. And then lastly just add a little bit of glow to my skin because my skin is very 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 dull at the moment. The dry air is just not doing us any favors, but uh, the ColourPop, what is this even called? Their Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian. A little bit goes a long way, but it's so freaking pretty. Again, wearing it right now, and I love the glow it gives, but it doesn't cling on to any dryness or accentuate any texture. So this has been fabulous. Honestly, all three of these products have been doing my dry skin so many favors this winter so far, and it's all very mask friendly. It's easy to put on, takes all of like three minutes. Honestly, you can just use your fingers. It's really, it's magical. So these have been definitely a favorite for the past couple of months. Yeah. All right, let's move on to some skincare favorites. Now we've mentioned the try dry air that is sucking all the life out of my skin and I mean seriously it's just so so dry we actually just got a humidifier that I need to install in the room because I guess when you sleep and you have it going it really helps your skin stay nice and moisturized so need to do that but in the meantime I have a couple hydrating products that have been a game changer so the first one is from a pharmacy and this is their honey halo I think it's like a ceramide cream I got this in a holiday set if you watched my Sephora haul you'd have seen it 
it. And when I hauled this, so many people commented and messaged on Instagram saying that this is their holy grail and I'm going to love it. And y'all are so freaking right. I wish the pot was bigger because this is just like a deluxe sample size. But I've been loving it. My skin's been drinking it up and I'm definitely going to get a full size. And Sephora is currently doing a promotion where you get anywhere between $15 and $25 off your order of $75 or more. So definitely going to take advantage of that and get this full size. Now on those really pesky dry spots that just don't seem to want to go away, I have been using this La Roche-Posay Sika Plast B5. It says it's a soothing repairing balm. I picked this up at Target. It was a little bit expensive for like a drugstore. But I think I saw Caroline Hirons talk about this. And if she talks about anything in a positive light, like I feel like I need to get it because you know it's going to be good. And this has been also fantastic. It's just a really light white cream that actually blends in pretty easily. Like it's thick, but it's not so thick you don't feel like it's ever going to absorb. Honestly, it does help dry skin so, so well. You can use it all over your body, not only on your face, but you can do it on your elbows, your knees, your hands, wherever you feel like you need a little bit more moisturizer. So again, got this at Target. I don't see a lot of people talking about this, but I have a feeling this is going to be a lifesaver for me this winter. All right, the last skincare thing that I've been loving is from First Day Beauty, and this is their FAB Pharma White Clay Acne Treatment Pads. This was sent to me in PR. And when I first got this, I'm like, I don't really have acne. I don't really need this, like whatever. Um, literally maybe two days after I said that, my face broke out like crazy. It was definitely masny. It was not cute. Did not love it. So naturally, I was very thankful to have this in my life. I tried it out and it really did clear up my acne maybe a couple days later after using it two to three times and it was just fantastic. So this one is 2% salicylic acid. It says it's safe for sensitive skin, which I would say yes because my skin can be a little sensitive especially right now with the whole like dry thing going on but I have been really liking it I really like that they are in pre moistened pads so you can really just target wherever you need the treatment so like for example if you have masony you can just put it around your you know bottom side of your face and avoid the top if it's fine and it worked for me so maybe it'll work for you. All right, so those were all my skincare favorites. Let's move on to fashion because whenever I wear these sweaters, I get so many comments. What sweater are you wearing? Where'd you get it? Love your sweater, you know, all that really sweet stuff. And these are totally my favorites. It's this sweater from Target. So I have it in red. I have it in berry, I have it in this like oatmeal gray, and then I also have it in a olive green, but I do not know where that one is, might be in the wash, not quite sure. But this is from Target, it's from their A New Day line, $25, so cozy. I get my normal size medium, and it fits just perfect, like that perfect oversize where, you know, it covers the front, covers the back, but it doesn't look like you're swimming in it. But if you don't want that oversized look, you can definitely size down and it'll still look really, really cute. But I just think this is the cutest sweater. I get a lot of compliments on it. I love the cowl neck. I mean, I love the cowl neck for anything. I think the pattern's cute. The colors are great. They also have it in like a baby blue I saw at Target, but that's like not really a color for me. But I think that would look gorgeous on you if you have fair skin blonde hair, you know, that kind of look. That would look really, really pretty. But yeah, these sweaters have definitely been a favorite and they're $25. Can't beat it. And I suppose sticking with Target, I have some Target shoes that have been my favorite because these are the two pairs of shoes essentially I've been wearing for the past two months. So first pair are these, I don't know, they're kind of like a Chelsea boot and they just look like, they're just edgy enough for me personally and they're really comfy. I feel like they have good traction and they were not very expensive at all. And then the other Target shoes that I have been loving and definitely between the two, these are my personal favorite. They're these wedged booties. These are waterproof, which is awesome for this time of year and they are so comfortable. You might think like a wedge that's not like super comfortable. These are super comfy. I've been wearing these with tights and dresses or leggings and sweaters, basically anything and everything. I've been wearing these and I love them. They also make these in a brown, which I kind of want, but the brown shade 
isn't like my power color brown so it's not quite like a cognac brown it's like a hair lighter than that but if that's your power color then I would say get those too but I've just been loving these wearing them non freaking stop okay and my last fashion favorite and I know I'm the last one on the bandwagon for these but the faux leather leggings from Spanx freaking love these. In case you missed it, I did upload a video comparing faux leather leggings. I have this one and then four other more affordable options. And a lot of people watch that video, so that was kind of wild. But um, if you watched that video, you know I got a medium petite and they look good, but they didn't fit perfect. And like these are, <laughs> these ain't cheap. So I ended up exchanging them for a large petite and they fit beautifully. I've been wearing these all over the place going to work, going to the store. It's pretty much all I do, but like I've been wearing them and they're super, super cute. I mean, seriously, picture these leggings, this sweater, these boots. This is, this is me this winter and I love it. And finally, let's talk about my random favorites. So first random favorite is this stuff. This stuff is seriously crack covered in chocolate. It is so good. I get this from Costco. There are just s'mores snack mix and it's just what you think it is. It's little pieces of graham cracker, mini marshmallows, covered in chocolate, put into a bag. I can eat a whole bag of this and I have had a whole bag of this um, in like a week. Not proud of it, but like it happens and it's so freaking good. I know they had this on sale at Costco a couple weeks ago and it was six bucks for this whole bag. Now I think it's nine dollars, but honestly, it's totally worth it. So if you have a Costco membership, I would say try this, gift it to your friends because it is so freaking good. My next random favorite is my Switch and more specifically, Animal Crossing. I remember, you know, the good old days when quarantine just started and we thought we were just gonna get a two week break from life and you know, it was really, it was all good. People were making banana Anna bread and playing Animal Crossing. Well, I couldn't play Animal Crossing because switches were nowhere to be found. Well, I take that back. You could find those light ones, but I wanted like the real deal. And let me tell y'all, a couple months ago when I was casually walking through Target, I always like would look and see if one was in stock in the gaming aisle. And I finally found one in stock and I didn't even think twice. I said, yes, we are getting that one. I see it, it's here. It was the only one in the display. It probably was there for maybe 10 seconds and I jumped on it and I bought Animal Crossing. And let me tell you, me and Animal Crossing, I'm pretty obsessed with it. I play it every day, do my little chores. It's real cute. I finally finished my dog park today because I was able to buy the toy dog. And it's really, really cute. If y'all play Animal Crossing, let me know. And I will put my dream address in the comments or in the description or wherever. So if you wanna like see what my island looks like, you can totally go do that. Cause I'm always curious about what other people's islands look like and like, you can really tell who's super into it based off of their island. Granted, I will say though, my island is a work in progress, but it's coming along, so there we go. So I have definitely been loving this for sure. It's probably like my most favorite, honestly. And finally, my last favorite is I have been vlogging. I know, crazy. Um, they're definitely very casual. They're not like super fancy or super like hustle vlogs. If you just wanna see, just a normal day in my life and kind of get to know me more personally. Check it out. I think I have three or four vlogs up by the time you see this video. So check them out. Let me know what you think. It's just been something fun and different. Super casual. You see like the real me. You see my messy room. You see me after work and going to the store and just like doing normal things. So if you want to watch that, feel free. I've been really just having fun with it. So there is that. And with that said, I think that is everything for my favorites currently. Um, if you want to see, actually, I don't even know how that's going to work. Because, you know, usually you do like a yearly, like end of year, you know, 2020 favorites. Actually, we can make that a cool video. Maybe we will still do that because just thinking like product wise, I mean, this is what I've been using. Like, this is it. This is the 2020 favorites. But um, we could still probably do that. Anyways, um, I'm going to let y'all go. Tyler and I are supposed to go to Ship Shawana today, which should be in the vlog coming up. Yay, exciting. In case you don't know what Ship Shawana is, because I sure as heck did not when I moved up here, it's a local Amish community. And Tyler likes to get some of their like, canned goods and stuff, and he ran out, so he wants more. And I haven't been yet, so 
I think it should be a lot, a lot of fun. But it's already like one in the afternoon, so we gotta get going. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know some of the products that you have been loving this month, this year, this quarter. I don't care. Let me know what you're loving currently. Um, if you wanna watch more videos of mine, I'll put a playlist right up here. Actually, I'll put my vlog playlist right up here for ya. Or if you just wanna watch another video of mine, I'll put one down there. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe because that would be super, super kind. <sighs> okay, I'm out of breath, so I gotta go, and I will see y'all next time.